Hey everyone, Outcaster1 here in my survival world. Now behind me you'll see the base that I just recently did a showcase video on. Um, as you can see, I've already started to dismantle it and started building the new base way off in the distance. I kind of got carried away with uh, getting that going without videotaping any of that. So I'm going to quickly go through what's going on here, and yeah. Here the entrance to the uh, old main base. Gonna get in here. My iron golem, my dogs, my horses. Still got, still got the mushroom farm to move and the main plant farm. I gotta do this pretty quick. I'm running out of food here during this move. I've already removed the uh, steam system from this floor, and that's already in place with a much bigger flash boiler in the new base, along with some other new stuff. I've started removing some of the items over already. Um, the enchanting table's all set up. Uh, I've been running around with the uh, exosuit on, and uh, I've got it set up with the gold plates so that I get the extra experience, which is why I'm at level 52 on uh, experience right now. I've also got the goggles on so I can zoom in from uh, to whatever I'm looking at comes in pretty handy for spotting any bad guys far away. It's nice. It also helps me run a lot quicker. It's nice. It uh, definitely helps me get around the f area much, much better. I'm going to keep going with my move here. Don't mind me. thing about the uh, exosuit, since I have it with the uh, the steam wings, there's my skeleton spawner over there, I can jump off the roof of my old building and fly to the new base. I gotta kill that guy, he's annoying me. Slime. Eh. Alright, so here we go with the new base. I've got a lot of trees set up right now, very large oak trees for fuel for the uh, the steam system, as well as for the electrical age mod. I will be doing a showcase on that mod later on. There goes my minecart. Um, so I've only got a couple of layers built up. I haven't done anything with the upper layer yet. I've just... I haven't really done anything with the upper layer, or upper level yet. I've just started getting the uh, new animal pens set up here. And everything really is going on downstairs. I've got my workshop set up down here. I've got, as you can see, the massive number of chests everywhere down in here. Uh, enchantment table. Need to get the, uh, um, what you call it? My uh, potion area set up. I've got my electrical age machines set up here. And on into all of my... FSP stuff. See, I got the uh, flash boiler set up here with my auto loading system. Uh, more stuff. Now, downstairs is where things get really crazy. So, this outputs from the steam, uh, from the flash boiler, all the way to these guys here. So, I got some furnaces set up to auto feed uh, charcoal into these two stone heat furnaces to generate a large amount of electricity. I've also got a large number of these water turbines from the Electrical Age mod to help produce more electricity. And uh, this just helps keep the lights on at the moment and run those machines upstairs. And th this stuff is actually pretty nice as far as the amount of light that it can produce. Um, it produces more light than glowstone or torches can do. Um, it all depends on what kind of light reflectors or light housings you have set up. But so far I've been pretty happy with the mod. 
and it, it brings some interesting things into it. I'm going to be doing more and more stuff with that mod over the next few weeks here. And hopefully get you guys going with some of that stuff if you guys have any questions. You know that there's, you know, this is on the Minecraft forum. So feel free to check it out on there along with Professor Flaxbeard's Wondrous Steam Power mod. And yeah. I will hopefully get more info for you guys as time goes on and more craziness as things go by. Get some more stuff set up here though, let's see. Okay, so I have run into a problem here now. My old base layout, because I didn't have all of this in the base, I had room for over 50 t chests in that one chest room. The way I have this set up right now, I've got room for just over 40. So that's 10 less chests. And because of how I want to organize everything, that's a bit of an issue because I don't have anywhere to put my food right now. I've got all my wood over here, I've got some random junk stuff that I need to organize into these guys over here. I've got sand and gravel and clay and building materials and I'm going to have mob stuff and other materials. I don't have anywhere to put my food. So I think what I'm going to do, I have the enchantment table over here. I can't really do anything around this thing that's you know worthwhile. So I think I'm going to make a kitchen right here. Just make like a little kitchen like setup. And just put my food here. Because quite frankly, I'm, I'm kind of out of options here. I don't really have a good spot to put a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to build this up and go from there. Alright, so I got my little kitchen set up and I've been also bringing over pretty much everything from the base. So that's pretty much almost all done. One thing I have been running into though is I am running very very low on some metals. I am, I'm like out of gold and I need more gold to make more batteries for the electrical age mod to keep these lights on and store power and yeah so what I'm gonna do I got some extra gold armor bits here and some iron armor bits and I'm going to uh, come over here and we're gonna use the crucible here just like that and we're gonna turn these back into raw materials Now these are uh, pieces that I got from mobs, you know, skeletons, zombies, that sort of thing. So I've I've already made a, a full prepared set, but um, right now I need the material more than anything else. I'm r since I'm running the exosuit, I don't really need the vanilla armor so much. So there we go. I got six gold ingots. That definitely helps out. They were all damaged parts, so I didn't get the full amount back. Let's do the same thing with these iron helmets that I've got a couple extra of. Oh, now because those are full strength, there they are filling up the crucible a lot more. It's so exciting watching me sit here and click this back and forth, back and forth. some more iron out of that. So the electrical age mod, I haven't really shown you guys any of that stuff, so I'm gonna make me a couple of batteries here. I'm gonna need lead, I'm gonna need the gold, I'll have enough for two batteries. Oh you know what can I also do this with golden swords? Let's see. It never works with armor, doesn't work with weapons. Ooh, it does. Maybe. Yep, I have four more. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna make some batteries. I need some wire. Wire. 
got enough for two batteries. And I will also make some more wire. I will definitely need a round. Alright, batteries. Six pieces of lead. And since these are 50 volt batteries, two pieces of wire. Put that there, 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 and that. And we got a life oriented battery. And the problem is, I need to get back there. Alright, next problem. I have to. Nudge more away against this here. Slowly charging up. We're not saying it's power out, but the, you see the water is just going down. Oh god! Well, that didn't work. Alright, let's fix this set here. So it's raining right now, which is why these guys are substantially louder. They produce more electricity when there's a storm going on. So, they're kind of in overdrive at the moment. I need a piece of cobblestone here. Since one of the pieces got completely obliterated by the explosions. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly what happened, why that exploded like that. Um, I think that battery, something happened with that battery, it didn't like the way it was hooked up, and it kind of just went everywhere. So I've got, you know, four batteries sitting here now, I've got pretty much all the wire, um, we're gonna figure this out and get this all situated and care of, because exploding batteries is never a good thing. Endermen like to come inside on rainy days. Ah. Okay, so now what do I need? I need to get... So when you place them, it does affect the direction that they are when they're put down. You do need to make sure you put these down in a very specific way. Like that, it's not going to work. There we go. these all have a life expectancy, they uh, also uh, diminish 
over time, so that's why I can't just grab one and then keep selecting the next one. Oh god, it's gonna explode again. Well, I mean, that's a very, very bad thing. some overload protection circuits for these guys. That's what I really need to do. And there he is. Alright, so I need to make some protection circuitry for all of those batteries. So, it's Jeep Chip, Redstone. Okay, and there we go. It's all been done and upgraded. So I've now got about 10 batteries here, right? Four over there. And four over there, and these two. So that'll give me some uh, some backup power should I ever accidentally run out of fuel in the furnaces. It'll give me an opportunity to refill them and uh, keep this whole system going. So yeah, eventually I'm going to have a whole bank of these batteries in one centralized location. I can easily fit about uh, eight right here. Uh, just reorient the way these are going. Put this guy down. Yeah. So it's pretty crazy looking in here right now as it is. I got all these turbines going, just massive amounts of movement. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm up to. Just getting this all situated. And add it on to, I'm probably going to start caving here in a little bit, get more stuff that I'm running out of, because, well, got to feed these machines somehow, make more of them, and make more stuff, and keep going from there. So, until next time, good night.